हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू फोर्स गैलेक्सी होप यू गाइज आर गुड आई एम जॉइंग दिस एडमिन सीरीज सो आर टूडेज वीडियो इज टू लुक इन टू वट डिफरेंट वेज वी आर हैविंग इन आर सेल्स फोर्स टू मेक फिल मैंडेटरी ऑन पेज ले As we have covered our video on the object creation, what are object in sales force page layout, record type, and validation rules, and the apex triggers also. So we are going to use all of them in today's video. So now let's start with our topic. Number one, make the field required at the time of field creation by making its required checkbox true. If you guys remember when we create our field in sales force then we have a option with name required and if we mark this checkbox a required checkbox as true then our field is marked as required from the backend so if the field is uh, if the field check required checkbox is true then we cannot bypass it any now let's understand how making the field required from the backend will affect suppose my data is coming through integration in salesforce and that data does not contain value in the field which is marked as required in my salesforce so it will not allow you to insert the data until and unless that required field contains a value again if we are importing data in our salesforce and that data does not contain value in the field which is marked as required in the salesforce it will throw it will give you an error file instead of the success file because your data does not contain the value in the field which is marked as required in the sales force now let's discuss our second option making the field required through the page layout by making its required checkbox true from the field properties now let's discuss how it affects when we make our field required through the page layout again if we are inserting our data through the integration and that data does not contains the value in the field which is marked as required through the page layout this time it will not throw us any error it will simply insert the data in the salesforce because this time your field is marked as required through the page layout again if we are importing any data in our salesforce and the field does not contains any value in the field which is marked as required through the page layout it will not throw any error Sim simply insert your data in the sales form that is the field will be required only at the time when you are inserting or editing your data from the ui now the third we have our validation rule yes validation rule can also be used to make the field required if you guys remember in our last video we have discussed that validation rule will shows or throws an error message whenever my expression validation rule expression returns true so, so if i use some functions like is null or is blank in my expression regarding the field which i want to be mandatory on the page layout and if that field does not contain value then it should then my validation rule should restrict my user to inserting the record and shows him the error message that the field is required if you want to insert your data Triggers also we can make field required. 
Example, if a user is, is trying to insert a record without the value which is required, then we can show an a page message specifying that the field need to be filled before saving out the record. So, so to show the page message or error message to the user, we use trigger.addError method in our epic class. through the VF pages. If a user want to insert a record through the VF pages and I have used the tag apex input field and in that tag we have attribute required and if I mark this attribute required as true then the user need to fill the value in this field then only he can be able to save the record.
these are the different ways to mark the field required so if you guys like the content do share thanks for watching